Alright guys, what's going on? Fun Doris here. So Gen 9 is right around the corner, and so today I just gathered a bunch of gameplay and footage of the brand new Pokemon that we have seen so far. So starting off with the three starter Pokemon for this gen, we got Sprigatito, Foycoco, and Quaxly. Pretty cool Pokemon, not my favorite, but they're not bad either. So Foycoco is of course the fire starter. Uh, he's pretty cool, looks like a mini dinosaur. I think he's kind of cool, he, he's like a dinosaur mixed with like an apple. He's probably my favorite design out of the three, so I'm probably going to end up picking him. We also got Sprigatito, which is pretty cool. It's a grass cat Pokemon. I actually like this design too, but definitely kind of like Fue Coco a little bit more. Then we got Quaxly over here. This guy's hair is looking fine. This is a water type Pokemon. He looks like a duck. He is a duck. He's not my favorite Pokemon. He's definitely my least favorite out of the three, but overall, all these three starter Pokemon definitely aren't the worst that we've seen before. Moving on to some of the legendaries, we got Coridon and Maridon, something like that. I really don't like these Pokemon. I think these are the worst legendary Pokemon we've seen so far, in my opinion, though. I mean, the design of them isn't bad. It's just, like, I think the idea of them is bad. It's, like, they turn into a motorcycle, which to me is a little cringy, and it's, like, it's, like, okay, is this game meant for babies or something? I don't know. I mean, kind of the weirdest legendaries. I don't really know how I feel about them. I guess I'll have to see how they are in the game, because, you know, I could totally be wrong right now, and they could be really awesome Pokemon. We also got Armor Rogue and Surilege. Cyril I'm pronouncing that kind of weird probably, but definitely Surilege is way cooler than Armor Rogue. I mean, they're both pretty cool at first. I didn't like them either, but they've definitely grown on me. So I'm definitely going to go for Pokemon Violet, which I think is the one Surilege is in. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. They have like a body armor and one of them, Armor Rogue has like cannons in his arm or something and Surilege, his arms are like swords. I just like the dark purple of Surilege better and the color combination of him over Armor Rogue. As of this moment recording this video, the newest Pokemon that we've seen is Bellybolt, and this guy's actually kind of sick. He looks like an avocado and a frog. I kind of want this guy on my team. He's like one of those like weird, ugly Pokemon that everyone's just going to love because he's so weird and ugly looking, and apparently he was actually one of the first original Generation 1 Pokemon like kind of concepts. Not exactly in this form, but there was like artwork of a similar look in Pokemon that was never released back in Generation 1. So that's pretty cool. So it's kind of cool to think maybe they brought him into this generation because of that. But overall, this guy's pretty cool. He's an electric type Pokemon, and he seems pretty powerful. I mean, from what we've seen, we've seen a little bit of gameplay. I'm having it on the screen right now. Um, overall, I like this guy a lot. Next up, we got Sea Titan, which is actually kind of a unique Pokemon. He's a Terra Whale Pokemon, so basically a whale on earth on land i think it's a pretty cool design overall um i'm guessing he's like an ice type yeah he's definitely an ice type uh his ability is thick fat and slush rush so pretty cool design i definitely like this guy a lot i'd give him like a seven out of ten for design maybe and for the idea next up we got a dragon and normal type pokemon his name is silazar sizzlazar something like that pretty cool looking i really like the design of him i just don't like the idea of like the motorcycle pokemon i just still think it's kind of cringy so you can use this guy as a motorcycle which is weird but um it's good for traveling i guess i guess it's gonna be fun to travel on these pokemon like that um but this guy looks really cool overall like his color scheme you know dark green and black pretty cool uh overall i would give this guy's design like a 8 out of 10. we also have a new evolution of jerigaraf and it's faragariv faragariv i <laughs> probably pronouncing that one wrong too but normal and psychic type i mean this guy is you know it's a giraffe with a helmet on i mean nothing crazy uh nothing too new that we haven't seen before but i guess kind of need to see a new evolution of a previous pokemon seems like nintendo has been loving making pokemon that are like food related so this guy's name is fido or fido he's a puppy pokemon that's pretty much like a piece of dough a piece of bread it's a fairy type pokemon Pretty cool. I like this guy a lot. He's definitely going to be a fan favorite because of his, you know, cuteness level or whatever. But overall, pretty cool Pokemon. Um, probably won't use him on my team, but he's neat. This guy, I haven't really seen anything about this one. His name is Grafifi. Grafifi. It's a toxic monkey Pokemon. His type is poison and normal. Uh, he looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of like the design on him. Possibility is that I might use this guy on my team because he's pretty unique. I think he's also going to be a fan favorite. Definitely, it's kind of like one of those weird looking, like, uh, why would I have this Pokemon? Because he's so ugly type of Pokemon, but pretty neat. We also got a Paldan Wooper, which is literally just Wooper, but brown this time. We got another type of mouse Pokemon. His name is Palmy. 
Definitely going to be a fan favorite again. Another electric type mouse Pokemon. Kind of looks more like a dog to me or like a hamster. I guess that would be a mouse, but I like this guy. I wonder if he has any evolutions because I feel like his, his third or second evolution is going to be really cool. Once again, another food related Pokemon is Smoliv. So it's obviously an olive Pokemon. Literally looks like an olive. His type is grass and normal. This guy's kind of... I don't know, on the same level as Caterpie, probably will never use him. He's probably going to be one of those Pokemon that you find early on in the game. We also got Kalaf. He's just a crab Pokemon. He's a rock type. Pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Nothing special about him. Probably not going to use him. And of course, Lechonk. He's probably going to be everyone's favorite from this generation just because he's a he's a pig. He's a normal type Pokemon, but he's a pig. And he's, just, he's just a small, chunky pig. Le Lechonk. Pretty cool. I like this guy. I probably will use him as long as he's, you know, an actual strong and useful Pokemon, but pretty cool overall. And lastly on this list, we got Wiglet, which is pretty much Diglett, but the Paldean version almost. Uh, it's a Garden Eel Pokemon. Water type. I think he's, you know, neat. I mean, probably won't use him on my team, but overall, pretty cool. So far, these are all the Pokemon that we have seen and got like gameplay or footage or pictures one way or another. Uh, so far in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, they're probably going to announce some more, so maybe I'll do another video part 2 to this, but so far as of October 15th, this is what we've seen. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.